All new tonight, families outraged to learn that a memorial for teenagers who died has been removed from Billerica High School. The special plaques disappeared during construction at the school. Now, the families assumed they were being replaced, but as WBZ's Lisa Greshi discovered, they could be gone for good. That is the last memories that we have of them were as students at that high school. They belong there. Jennifer Rayo is from the Bill Ricca Memorial High School class of 1994, a class that experienced an unimaginable amount of loss. 17 year old Carrie Keyes, 16 year old Jeff Donnegan, 18 year old Amy Ward, and 15 year old Chris Eastman all passed away between 1993 and 1994. Jennifer remembers sitting next to Carrie Keyes in class. It took a very long time to be able to go back and sit at that seat without her next to me. Two more teens, 18-year-old Verity Collin and 16-year-old Amy Jones were also honored in the memorial. Five of the six passed away after car accidents. Jeff was one of those vibrant people you will ever meet. Jeff Dunnikin's brother Robert is one of several wondering why the memorial is being removed. This is where the family says the memorial used to be. And while a tree still stands for each of the six teens, there are no more plaques. It didn't strike us as something that would happen to a memorial. Dunnikin thought it was due to the construction of the new high school, but has since learned the memorial may be gone for good. As part of the class that made the memorial, Rayo can't understand why these memories aren't being honored. We have absolutely no blueprint to show that some sort of important new part of the school is going to be on these grounds. It looks like it's still going to remain a parking lot. We reached out to Bill Rick as superintendent of schools and have not heard back. Reporting in Bill Ricca, Lisa Greshi, WBZ News.